Hey, yeah. What's up, everyone? <laughs> welcome to The Return. I'm Josh Cribs. And I'm Maria Cribs, and welcome to another beautiful day. It's beautiful, but it's windy outside. It's windy. What's it, up with that? It's, it's just, that's Cleveland. That's a part of Cleveland. It, whenever you mention anything about the weather, it's understood. Whether it's hot outside, whether yeah. it's nice, whether it's cold one but, day, sunny the next. Now, I'm not a meteorologist, but I will say anytime the wind comes, it's bringing in a new era of weather. So either it's going to be a new system of weather. Either it's going to okay. be either some sunshine going to come or it's going to be some more snow. Something's crazy going to happen because that wind's blowing something out of the way and making room for something else. But I will say this. Now, I don't know if there's any direct windows, any, any type of window companies out there that want to sponsor this show. The wind was blowing... Our blinds were shaking. Right. And I'm like, okay, that's normal. That. It might be, you know, it might be some sealant missing or something. But then my door in our bedroom started shaking. Right. I saw that. Something's wrong with our window treatments, Josh. So I was downstairs and I came up, remember, and I closed the bedroom door. But that made it worse because then it's, so it's it shaking. Shake. Right, right. No, that, so that then was... I noticed you opened the window and the wind well, was, was like, blowing. I was like, the wind blowing. some fresh air in the house. So that's why the wind... <laughs> no, if but you, if you open a window, the wind is nah, going to come let in. Let me ask the viewers say, this. Let me ask y'all this. If someone is asleep, right, and the wind is blowing the blinds and making the window shake, wouldn't you leave the door open so nothing can rattle? He closes the door, so all I'm hearing is rattling for about a half hour. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and get up. I close the let door me go ahead. because the wind is going to wake be everybody up. noise downstairs. Yeah, but the trash blew all down the neighborhood. That wasn't our trash. But Today was trash day. The yeah. neighbor's trash. Yeah. I'm going to call the neighbors. Like, all hey, up and you down need to come get those street. boxes. We don't even drink Pepsi. Your Maria. Pepsi boxes, your cartons are all in our lawn. <laughs> our <yard. laughs> on our line. Really? Okay, but tell them about the event, Josh. I want to hop into this event. Okay. We went to on the, Thursday. the, the uh, opening, the unveiling of RH. Yes, which is Restoration Hardware. They opened up a new restaurant. In Cleveland. Rooftop in wine Crest. bar. Right, right there in Pinecrest. And let me tell you how this goes. Because Josh didn't really know what to expect. Not you at know, all. Ryan, I thought it was going to be a dinner. I thought we were going to get food. It was going to be a big old dinner party. I came with my appetite. Now, we've been planning this for maybe about two, maybe a month and a half now. We knew we had some invites, that these people we could um, invite. Maria invited 1,000 people. So, okay, so the thing is, when they reached 1, out to me and said people. you can invite your friends. 50 people. I ended up sitting about 150, but that, that's, neither, that's neither here nor there, okay? So, look, okay. Josh, he has his tactic when he doesn't want to go somewhere because even though he's personable across these airways, so you, he's very um, introverted. So, okay. as we're driving to the event, I mean, I don't want to go. No, he's trying to start an argument with me, so I can be like, why don't you just stay home? But I'm like, I'm we 20 years married. I already right. know how this is going to go. Pick up on that. He was like, sometimes when you don't I mean, want to go somewhere. Going, what you got me going to anyway? Start a right? quick argument, and you might be oh, able to get Oh, well, he was in the NFL, it. right? <laughs> He would try to argue with me so he'd go out to the club, okay? All the time. He wanna get kicked out the house. I'm not kick you 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 I'm get, like, well kick me out. No, uh uh-uh, uh no. Come, hey, I see you. Kick me out for I the see weekend. you when you get home, baby. Have fun. <laughs> Why do guys do that? Because we think we smarter than everybody. But I'm everybody. not the kind of wife that Sometimes. even would have an issue with you going out. Why would you try it, that with me? It works in other Josh, households. Have I ever had an issue with you going out? No. You, but I talk on the phone, but you you show your so, disapproval no, I don't. in other ways. No, I do not. And that's for another show. Continue. <laughs> so anyway, R-H. back to the back to the RH, right? So we go into the event. My girlfriend called. My girlfriend Brandis is always on time. Now she she she's was just there so punctual. On time and she, she knew we were going to be late. She let us know. She oh my like, gosh, um, guys! No, I want to tell the story. Well, you Stop. take it we're too trying to long. Make me, no, I'm not. You see so how she calls I, us. I, the event, yeah, I, I know, Ryan. You see that? The event starts at 7 p.m. Right? My friend calls me 10 minutes till seven. I'm like, hey, I'm still in my house getting dressed. Gotta, I'll be there in like 25 minutes. So she's like, Maria. There, it, we're here. There is a line wrapped around the building. Yes. I'm like, what you mean? She's like, people are trying to get in. The she line is out the door. Us. She said there's a, a a whole stream of cars trying to get into the parking lot. I thought she was playing with me. So I was like, let me see. So she was on FaceTime. She flipped, she flipped it around. And I was like, oh, we about to be partying, baby. <laughs> so Maria thinks this is a super party. I'm like, dang, all them people for dinner? I'm, <laughs> I'm ready like, to I- eat. Josh. That's what I was ready to eat. Maria ready to party. I'm like, man, I got an appetite, But I man. felt I bad what's because... On, on the menu. Right. I felt bad because it was cold that day. And I'm like, I got VIPs out here. They can't be standing outside right. in the cold. But anyway, we get there 20 minutes later. And of course, we gonna go through the back door. How do we get through the back door, Josh? Ryan, I'm not standing no line. we finagled our way. Okay. They tried to pick up our car at Valet. Yeah. And we said, oh, no, no. They told us to keep going. Yeah. They. 
And the valet was like, huh? All right, keep going. So we kept going. Went around back. Around back. Spated nobody through the around back. Door. back. Right. Went right around back, and it was a back entrance because you could see it's a glass. All you could see all in the place. And I'm like, man, it's a guard right there. Not a guard. Like it was sitting. a guard. And yeah, I was like, like hey, a, Josh, you walk in first. A, they know your face. Administrator. Or if some I tried sort. to, if I tried to get up in there, they'd have been like, ma'am, go to the go we, to the line like everybody else. The glass. We ushered Josh they right in front like, of the security oh, guard. Okay, yeah, he said, yeah, come right on in. in. It's your like, party. Come on. So then we get in. Right I, we, the I mean. The who's who of Cleveland were all up in there. Yes. I mean, I'm looking to my left, to my right. They go to mayor of Cleveland, Justin yeah, Big. Yeah, medical doctors Everybody in the from Fox 8 was there. 19, we brought some of our 19 type family of business there. business owners. It sounds like I missed, like, the... You, the hold on, so hold on, though. The, no, no, you're right, Maria. I'm not trying to... I, you're right. I was invited. I was invited. So what happened, right? It totally slipped my mind. I was sitting here last Friday, and, and I think Nick or someone asked me how it was, and I'm like, so Nick didn't go either, huh? Okay. Yeah. Because you know what? I was feeling out. some kind of... And I got Nick's shirt on today, too. I was like, you know what, Josh? They put down. We're going to get back to the, how the event was. It was right. a really nice event. But I was like, dang. We invited our 19 family. Right. We invited our big... I was like, man, did the big play fam- did our big play big, family yeah, show yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, And I was like, the bi- our big play family did not show up. So lo and behold, a day later... Gab come home. Yeah, Gab showed all yeah. the pictures she like, what? She come text me all these photos, I and I'm like, go. you were there? Bang, 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 she was bang, like, bang, yes, bang. it was Party. awesome. Yeah, Having yeah. fun as I, living her so best life. So y'all showed us some love. Right, yeah. right. Living her best life. It was that pack. We didn't even see people that we invited. Yeah. Uh, Phil Taylor was there. I invited Phil Taylor. Last minute you invited he him, he there. showed up. I invited him a day before the event. He oh. there having a good time. You and Phil are still friends after he tackled you? Definitely. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. After he did his best <laughs> impersonation, yeah. you know, of an active NFL player, uh-huh. me and Phil, we still hang tough. Yes. But it was packed. I seen, I seen women this- for Ryan. I was looking like if Ryan oh, here on. right now. Hold on. Because if you guys don't know, we showing we we find finding love. We are for gonna Ryan. find love for Ryan. People are all in my DMs. <laughs> but I, it, so you were looking at women at the event. So anyway, How, back to so the hold on, you're trying to put under the guise. He of, was scouting I was look, for me. That's scout. a guy thing to do. Oh, okay, scouting. He's scouting. Okay, because yeah. we are on a yeah. sports Excellent. show. Yeah. yeah, scouting. I was scouting out, you know, uh, possible candidates. For our producer Ryan and I had suspects. I had prospects. Prospects. You said suspects. Prospects. There you go. That's sus- <laughs> I had prospects. Okay, as long as you say I it that way, that's Ryan fine. To give me the Ryan, you should have been. So wait a minute. You probably needed a reminder text, didn't you? Yeah, I get like that. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I have so much I, stuff going on up here. Yeah, you know, you're working on a lot of shows. Yeah. We, we were able to catch it's up. Okay, Thank with you. uh, we were able to catch up with the CEO. And, Gary Friedman, uh, the CEO of Restoration Hardware. And, now, what it is, it's a beautiful property down there in Pinecrest, but it's a gallery. So, Restoration right. Hardware is a um a furniture. I want to show him the picture. Oh, show him the photo. Show nah, him. because that's we that's a billionaire right there. We in a photo with. Let yeah, me see. Yeah. So this is the picture right here, mm-hmm. and that's the owner right there, and his uh, I think that's his, his wife, wife. Yes, and she was yes. so sweet, so kind. They were like, Come and she on, was take showing a photo us around this. like it was uh you know the condo. It reminded or the house me as if we were like, like in the Kardashians' house. You right. know, Ryan, if you see their houses on TikTok, how their furniture looks all you know contemporary <laughs> and nice, clean lines. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. how I felt. And this is uh, Denzel Ward's mom with yep, the Nicole, owners of No Fork. With Chef Jason. And she, yes, and Chef Calvin right there, the owners of No Fork. It was yeah. just... It was a it was a vibe. Yeah. I was looking every... When we walked in, everybody already had glasses of um, wine and yeah. sparkling and drinks and everything. I'm like, man, I need a, I need a glass. Yeah. And right here is our old producer. Oh, who, uh, from uh, Cribs in the CLA. Yes, Cribs that's the Rob Westy and his lovely wife. He's cu- the current producer, the current executive producer of New Day Cleveland. Yes, yeah. and Channel 8. It was so. good to see him. I invited him. I and mean, we invited I everybody. Them pigs. I, and I, I, I had so many more pigs, and I don't want to. That's how it looked. But you see the yeah. line out there? The yeah, line that was, was the line right the there at the bottom around the building. It was a nice place. This is what it looks like without it being packed. It's beautiful up there. Because it was so packed, they had to take most of the uh, furniture out of the building. Well, that's what I was worried about because floors. the furniture was in there, and I know everybody was sitting down enjoying themselves, and I'm like, wait a minute, the, the grand opening officially is going to be the next day. So right. I'm like, do they got to steam clean the furniture? Right. Because all that the white clean lines, yes. green linens and things I like that. I love that, that he brought, the owner brought this to Cleveland. It, yeah. it was giving them Miami vibes. You didn't the want DJ, able to mm, come. Mm, mm, hey, you got to mm, go mm, check it out. Look, they got the restaurant on the third floor. Yeah, with the beautiful rooftop. rooftop. That's going to be really nice, nice in the summertime. Uh, furniture. Ryan, you missed out. Uh, we could have we could have just canceled the Ryan no. Fines love because you would have found it. You would have found it there. I'll, 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 be, I'll be kicking myself for that for a long time. And Ryan, yeah. that love would have came with some know. dollars attached because it was some it was some wealthy people yeah, in the was, room. It was I, everybody. Lord knows. Anybody who's everybody in Cleveland was up in that room. And you would have fit in right. You would have been like, oh, yeah, I'm Ryan. You know, I'm the producer. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God, yeah. 
know, an well, editor. Know, yeah, you kind of shoot. You shot the return. But can I just ask y'all a question? I mean, you have a resume. Can I start already. using you for clout, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, yes. that's okay. what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. You know Josh you Chris, my I had to get clout boy, permission man. first. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Was I? Did I miss my opportunity? Because I was like, wait a minute, I got a billionaire right here that personally invited us to this event. Okay, what you asked me to invite my yet? friends. I felt like I missed the opportunity to ask him to possibly like furnish our house for free. Okay, was that? I mean, I mean, he that's not there's nothing that's for not him to get question. access you to furniture. He why. got he got the furniture right there. If he did it, then he would have been on his show for like. The rest of the year. Oh, okay, we would have him. Like, a... Don't forget about Restoration Hardware. Okay, they got the beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We'd have been, right. we'd have been showing up at, right. at random dinners. You are right? They'd have been like, Cribs is right there. You know what I mean? Okay, but Ryan, what about this last one? Now you know we just started our trucking company, right? When you order furniture, when you purchase furniture, how's we get to your house? Right, a truck. Now a should truck? I have had that conversation with him there, or you was that you dropped the boat? So I we, dropped the we ball. was just real chitty chatty the whole way. We was too busy working. Like, oh, you know what? Working the room. Yeah, working the room. But, <laughs> but um, I know you want to get to some brown stuff. Definitely want to. We do gotta that. go to commercial, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Now, Josh, yeah. somebody rolled up on you at the event. And you Absolutely. were surprised. So somebody rolled up on me. My ex-teammate for uh, Kent State Golden Flashes football, and he played with me with the New York Jets. That's him right there, Brian Winters. But he rolled up at me at RH uh -huh. at the event the other night. Still looking chiseled. And I didn't recognize who he was. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, that's him right there. That is him with the hat on. Oh, that's I was a like, what's hat. your name again? He was like, I played with you at Kent like and Josh, with the Jets. Man. He like Josh, I'm man. I'm like, what's your name again? Say your name again. And I was looking at my drink like, did I have too many to drink? You didn't even drink anything. Don't even start. You, well, you were babysitting on the same a drink, drink all night. For two and a half hours. Yeah. But it, it got down. I drank it. A sip so every, once he said, every 10 minutes. So was it that he looks different because... He lost 100 clearly, pounds. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. He he slimmed down more than Joe Thomas slimmed down. I was going to say, he hit the post-NFL lineman glow up, like, yes. just mm -hmm. like Joe did. Yes, yeah. he looked like a rock star. Like, I, I was like, man, you look good, brother. And he, you know, we caught up a little bit. I got his number. And uh, we're going to hang out, man. That's my guy, Brian Winters. Brian Winters, Golden shout Flash. out to you. Oh, now, yeah. is it wrong? Okay, do you feel some kind of way when you see someone in certain settings? Like, when we first walked in, there was a lady and her friend who stopped us, remember? Right. And I'm and like... And we know them. And it took okay. me... A, I know her... But we don't know where that oh, That's the worst. And so I'm like, I hope she doesn't think I was trying to be funny. Because we meet time so her. many people. Yeah. yeah. We know their faces, but when you don't constantly I'm, I don't talk usually to see people, you here. Yeah. We like, I know you. Come in, bring it in. Yeah. You know, where I know you from, though. <laughs> I wonder if people get upset or like, dang, feel unspecial because I, I want them to charge it to our, our, our heads, heads and not, not our, our hearts. hearts. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of people don't recognize me. Like, I'll, I'll be talking to people and they recognize me when I'm with you. When I'm right. by myself, they don't. And I don't feel any kind of way you right. know, about it. But Absolutely. I was like, man, I'm seeing so many people. I'm like, wait a minute, where did I know you from? And, and some, some people, people like, didn't recognize you invited me, don't me, Maria? Recognize me yeah. anymore. Some people don't recognize me anymore. They hear my voice. Oh, yeah. And they know it from TV, Ryan. Not even from football anymore. Because I haven't played here in over a decade. Yeah. And as soon as I started talking, people were like, hold on, I know you're, you on TV with your wife. Mm -hmm. you know <laughs> with your I mean? wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking at women for scouting women for Ryan. Our Browns. K. York. No. Go ahead. I had to abruptly, because that's how it hit me. Hey, York, baby. Hey, York is back in town, Ryan. And um, when I first seen this, I, I thought, okay. I, Good deal. I, I don't disagree with it at all. Some people feel like he's going to come right away, coming right away and become the kicker. Yeah, people got up in arms about it, and I don't really know why at all. I mean, it's a practice squad. It's a futures deal. He's on the practice squad. I mean, look what happened. We had to pull Riley Patterson because Dustin Hopkins got hurt. I mean, there's literally no downside to it. It's going back to a fourth-round draft pick with upside that you've seen capable of making kicks. I mean, he made the game-winning kick against Baker exactly. Mayfield a couple years ago when we played the Panthers. There's really no downside to it. There's no downside right. other than him getting better. Other than him understanding, like, man, I got to make these kicks. I was just saying, people talk about uh, competition breeds success. Exactly. Yeah. And what's different, just because it's a kicker position? I don't think exactly. so. Exactly. And sometimes I think when we when he ha when he we got him back and his news broke that we signed him, mm -hmm. people started emotionally feeling the, the missed kicks. Well, it's more on the line for him. Mm -hmm. It's more on the line, not just his job, but the fact that Fans ain't going to take no B. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to just take anything no from anyone. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. know your history. Yeah. So is that more pressure on him? 
Yeah, I, and I mean, for him, he's a draft pick, essentially, at this point in his career, a failed draft pick. Right. Imagine him coming back to the town where he failed. It's got to be nervous for him. Exactly. Yeah. yeah but imagine his success story yeah. if he gets an opportunity. And I hope he does. And, and, and kills it. Mm-hmm. I'll read that book. Oh, I'll yeah. watch that movie. I'll read that book. I'll I watch, watch like, that movie, I'll brother. Watch that mo- I brother. Like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> brother. I'm, I'm a wrestling fan. So we're happy I, about I'm, Kate York. We're actually, happy. that story came from our son, Izzy. He's the right. one to put that in our lineup for us right. today. So I don't know if that. everybody happy. It's mixed emotions, but it's no, it's no, da- it's no downside. Okay, you know, to that pick, um, Andrew Barry, uh-huh. and two-time Coach of the Year, Coach Stefanski. Kevin Stefanski, mm-hmm. are in contract talks. Yeah, They're about to get their contract extended. Rightfully so. Are we all in agreement? Oh I, yeah, yeah absolutely. I know there's some haters out there. Dude, if we get one thing steady in this organization and it can be our head coach, I mean, the last person that has lasted this long, I mean, I can't, Bill Belichick maybe, pre-Browns, I mean, post-2000, this is by far the steadiest regime we've had with Kevin Stefanski and Andrew Barry, and there's absolutely that's, nothing wrong with that. It, in fact, good. it's he amazing. Said that, yeah, I'm thinking like, yeah, really? Yeah, that's a good, uh, what he said, stability. Yeah. I had to take my glasses off of that because now that we have, and I mentioned this a little bit last week, we, we acquired uh, Mike Variable. Yeah. Um. I, you know, I kind of, I, I, I'm, uh, I, I question sometimes our thorough. Nah, I question our toughness as you know, uh, goat fans when we, I can foresee problems arising if Kevin Stefanski has problems at all mm-hmm. during, during the, the season. season that people will call for Mike Vrabel to step in as the head coach. And I hate, you know what I'm saying? I mean, Can't it, you foresee? It, yeah. yeah, well, that's, and people are already doing it. I mean, it's human nature to have a backup plan in case thing goes wrong. Like, we all do that for everything in our lives. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you're bringing in a guy who really should be a head coach. Right. Will probably be a head coach next year. Right. And you're bringing him to this brain trust of coaches with so much experience. And it's like, let's just for a second enjoy that we're in a position where we can bring this guy in and not have all this chaos wander and be happy that we have another guy, another football guy it's that brings knowledge to our organization. Guy. And uh, Maria, you got a Google alert because uh, news picked up on my on our podcast from last uh, week when yeah. I when I quoted, you know they didn't of course they didn't get the whole thing, but they I never was, do. It said uh, Crib says uh, Vrabel, mm-hmm. Mike Vrabel is not going to be, you know, utilized. Not you know it's like a, but I, I I explained it how these things work. It worked like that for Rob Chizinski when he left the Browns, he joined the Colts, and I was there. He just sat in the back room. And that's how it is for a lot of coaches when they are head coaches and they get fired. Yeah, they they sit. They're still getting paid from their previous teams. I just, look at it as just having a little padding, just in case if if all hell breaks loose during the season next year, it's, it doesn't just fall on me. I think it's a smooth play. Well, if that's all my, hell that's, breaks that's loose. Mm-hmm. It's still not going to be turned to Mike Vrabel. Because you don't think so? Of heck so no. what's the point of bringing him in? He's because if, if it's Coach brain, Spence, he would be like, I got this. I don't Brian need no. I don't just, need no. Mm-hmm. He just alluded to it. Mm-hmm. You know, you got another mind in the room. Yeah, and it's like you, he's on a team, so it's not like he, like he's outside. But of there's football. multiple minds already in the room. He's prime for another coaching position outside of Cleveland. Cleveland is just throwing him a bone. Okay. I'm I'm trying to be real uh, transparent with. You throw me a bone, viewers. but if we go, if we happen to suck next year, we don't. We just, he's just. Are you not, throwing me a bone, or could this be a resume flop? You know, some people th- look at things as a lateral move or resume not, builder. If we flop next season, is, that, is team, he going to get that net, that up and coming head no, coach position every, somewhere else? No, no, no yes. I, Even I, if we flop, I believe it won't necessarily be a head coach unless it's just a unless coordinator. He know, unless he knows the people and it's just that click, and they click right. But more likely a coordinator position. But then if we have success, would Ray will be going somewhere else? I think after that the season? he has no bearing mm-hmm. on our season. Mike Vrabel, mm-hmm. his his future has no bearing whatsoever, I believe, on the, on how we do as a franchise because everybody know where he is. In the league, it's, it's a known lateral move. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a position in waiting. And he's here to to lend his hand, and we're not really paying him. Because the Tennessee Titans are are fitting the bill for him, so he's here. He's he's lending a helping hand. I think whenever needed. But I but think can we y'all all know what that to me, means. As, as from Coach Stefanski's standpoint, I'm the head coach. I've been running this shit by myself. I've been doing the what you've been running the, the, the play calling, right? She is. This sound like something else. <laughs> I'm just saying, me bringing. You heard me, right? Well, no, I yeah, didn't. I didn't ship. say that. No, I, didn't, I said like ship the boat. The ship, like you know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So does it? Is it a sign of strength? 
or weakness that I'm bringing someone else in. It's a sign. Just say that I need help. It's a sign of strength. We're padding our pockets. That's all. If, 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 but does it make it look like I haven't been no. able to do my job thus far because I need somebody no. to come help me out now? He's coach of the year. He's too, so how can you? So then, why does coach of the year need someone else? I, I just play? told you, you got to accept that. Okay, tell me again. He's pat, there. We pat in yeah. our pockets. It's, Go it's, ahead, Ryan. It, it's a giant brain trust. If anything, yeah. I think it shows that Kevin Stefanski knows he's going to get this extension. Knows he's secure in his position, mm -hmm. and he's doing everything he possibly can now to bring in everybody and get the Browns to the promised land. I think it shows that he's secure where he's at, mm -hmm. and he knows that he's capable of what he's doing, and he's going to continue to do it. Bringing in Vrabel was a complete win-win for both sides. Correct. Mike Vrabel comes home to his home state. He's what? Berea's what? Probably within 30 minutes of where he grew up. Right. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who doesn't want to sit out of football a whole year, but he's really a no choice has to. So now he gets to be this consultant role, pretty, I, won't, I don't want to say easy, but so more relaxed role than being role. on the sidelines. Yeah, okay. And now the Browns get to okay. add another recent coach of the year. Now they have, the between Kevin Stefanski and Mike Vrabel, that is now three of the last five Coach of the Year winners. Mm -hmm. You well, bring that in the is, brain trust. Bring it's a win-win no for both fall sides. Guy. Nah, so I don't want to be your fall you, guy. You got to understand, and I know you don't, but we explain it in great I get detail, it. so I you got to just saying. accept that. No, I get it. So All we're right. moving to the, the stadium. The stadium, um, they just had their NFL meetings, and um, we knew both options. The teams? Or yes. Okay. Uh, the Haslam's met with the NFL. They, um, they supposed to be in talks with Cleveland. And Brook Park to try to figure out try to work something out between two options now, a one billion dollar renovation of the Cleveland Brown Stadium that's currently downtown. Okay, the current stadium. or a two billion dollar project with the dome in Brook Park. So the renovation downtown, one billion without without a dome, and then the renovation. I mean, the new dome, a uh, new stadium in Brook Park will be with a dome, but two billion. I think you need to go ahead with that two billion. I. I I love the stadium as it is now, but I you see, know? I envision our team being a mecca. I want a Super Bowl in Cleveland. I think this city could use some type of revitalization other than the the football hall of fame in Ken, other than the rock and roll hall of fame. I love the stadium. I can care less what they do, really. I like the stadium. I can I can rock out with a billion dollar renovation, but if they bring that two billion dollar dome to Brook Park, it ain't gonna look like Brook Park no more. More businesses will come. They hotels gonna pop up out of nowhere in Brook Park. Uh, gambling sites. I think I'm worried about the Cleveland they economy probably, taking that money from the Cleveland the economy. The Metro Parks probably. And then I hate to say this, a, when a I, stream I've attended of games, water. I've <laughs> attended some of your games inside of domes, and it just does not feel like football to me. I'm used right. to the you, rain, you I'm used to the snow, to I'm used to the elements. So when I'm inside of a dome, I'm like, I ain't got to wear a coat, or I can like they be dressed up. It's just it's a but different experience. A but thing. I do think maybe more people will come in a dome early in your career. To a dome. Early in my career, I said your <laughs> career. You didn't want to come to some of the games because how much it rained. He he making up stories. I ain't gonna I make never, it up. Never Look, said that. We gonna talk more about the dome. We be right back. He, he tripping now. We be right back. <laughs> All right, now, welcome back to the show. My husband and lost his goddamn on mine talking about I didn't want to go to the games in the rain. What are it you talking like, about, Josh? I would come back in uh, halftime, and she would be like, she would say, I done went home. I'm like, babe, we, I'm about to score or whatever. Or you like that touchdown? <laughs> she was like, I went home. It started raining. I if went home. home. If I'm home like, meant, If home meant I went to the club level to go to the bar, <laughs> then that's where home was. But I was still at the stadium. Listen here. I was still at the stadium. Okay, I'll just keep that secret. Between He's making us. up. Why are you sitting on here she making went up to the stories? Club level I never. When it rained, I was out she there went inside. All elements. I'm all terrain. I'm like an SUV, baby. I'm all terrain. I'm off. I'm an off road vehicle. With the punchline. You like I'm that? You like terrain. that, don't you? Well, okay, I'm so Josh, you. I'm, I'm, I just in, think I'm insulted dome. at the fact that you. You. Listen to it. Oh, that you've been through at that action. stadium action. right over there. I can see action. it. Action. You want a dome? I'm, Viewers, just, do y'all want a dome? Do you want the $1 billion uh, influx billion into the current? No, the $1 billion renovation to the current stadium that's downtown. You know, no the dome. one right here by the beautiful shores of Lake Erie. Oh, don't try to when, sell it. When, when visitors come, they don't get to not to only see it. a game, they see the water, which I or, feel like is like a... 
or a win win. Or who live here don't like the, they say the water ain't 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 blue. The enough. water is beautiful. I like it. Come on, I'm from Columbus. We didn't have or to have like you Olive want Creek. Maria, a a two billion dollar mecca, a new uh, plush seating suites. You go in there. You they gonna have conventions there for sure. You like a greasy they car. Bring, you like uh, a greasy superstars. car salesman. Look at them. A car sales. How do you know the sell? one billion dollar renovation wouldn't have the plush seats and the sweet levels and maybe a possible maybe to, you know? So why maybe. are you trying to oversell them on I'm that? I'm just saying because when we get if we get a dome two billion Ryan, we're gonna have a Super Bowl Ryan. shortly after. Very true. Come on, Ryan. We're gonna have a Super Bowl Speak shortly after. It. And what if we were Speak in on it? What are your thoughts? I really we've been talking about this like for, and I just got revamped because of the owners meeting and obviously the Haslam's comments. I mean, I don't know. I'm fine with either. Like, I love the fact that the Browns right. are downtown. I love it on the lakefront. I'm fine I, with and I honestly too. like the weather element. Obviously, a dome would be nice because you could potentially get a Super Bowl. But you can get other events. But I mean, nothing's you just guaranteed. Said the weather element, you know, that dome would be retractable. We'd be able to open and close. Ah, but, but we've been going to the games thus far in the elements. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fine with either. I really am. Dang. So I we're fine like with either. I don't want to mess our up final the, answer. the Cleveland economy. And then I love, <laughs> you said that, what? That's our final answer. We didn't, we didn't we're reach, fine with either. We did not reach a resolution. We didn't have to. We're fine with either. That's the resolution. We don't care what they we, do. We, we I gonna think both we of them is still, a win-win. We're going to still be out there cheering. <laughs> yes. <laughs> cheering our team the on. The kickoff rule. Uh, the kickoff rule. The kickoff is changing again. And it's not moving it closer. It's moving everybody around. Oh, here we go. We're going to adopt the XFL rules when it comes to kickoffs now. Oh, okay. Right. I, I don't, I'm, I have mixed feelings about it. Can you explain it. to the viewers who might not know what the current ruling are, is it for the XFL? I will in a second. Okay. But I have mixed feelings about it. So the XFL had this uh, kickoff rule where everyone is, they can't move. They're within five yards of each other. Okay. The kicker is about 20 yards away from them. Okay. The, other, the returner is about 20 yards away from the uh, return team. And nobody can move but the kicker and the returner. And they can only start to play once the kick is received by the returner. So as soon as the catch, hands. soon as the returner has it, bam, it's action. And they're five yards away. And this is supposed to limit the high-speed collision. I get it. So is everybody facing the returner? Everybody's facing Are they each facing other. Each other? So then how would the people who's back... The same is- way that it was in a regular kickoff. Okay. So they just open up and uh, but you can start once or go get that guy. And it's up to the scheme of the return unit to, uh, to draw up a play. And basically it becomes a running play mm-hmm. uh, with low uh, impact because... You know, they're I, not coming gunning down at you at I'm 100 miles an hour. That. I'm not going to say that. What? These are high performance athletes, Ryan. We can reach top speed in the, in 15 it, it, yards. Yeah. And maintain and still have the same type of collision. So you feel like the rule is a dud. I do you, feel like the rule is a dud, okay. but I would kill. I would have killed this league. Oh man, you would have with this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like I'm playing tag. It's going to be some more touchdowns now. I can tell you for sure. And I'm, I'm and I'm saying, this is just an, another reason. Maybe the biggest reason to put you in the damn Hall of Fame. Right. I, everything is changing. It's never going to go back to never going to go Ryan. back to the same. Thanks, Ryan. Whether it be <laughs> they keep changing covering. It. I'm yeah. just saying what everybody's thinking. Right. Yeah. Whether it be covering, kicks, or or returning, it's never going to be the same. No, not at all. The last of the dime breed has yeah. already it already happened. Yeah. You're changing the game. So now kids will grow up on, you know, the intramural that of a kickoff, the resemblance of a kickoff that we have now. Right. I'm getting uh, re- interview requests of people saying, oh, what do you think about the, the rule change? Well, I I hate it and love it. I, it's a thin line between love and hate because I see from a different lens. As a coach, I man, I can't wait to draw up a play. I might have to go back and coach. Just I'm going <laughs> to reach back out coach. to Bubba. Please, coach. <laughs> because I already see yes. plays Please, that coach. need to be drawn up for this Can style. I campaign that, please? And no. it's crazy. It would have been so cool if you could have coached here and we could still do our show. I feel like it was it would just be easy access. You need to be coaching. I would be too in it. I would yeah. be too much in it. Be trying to be spilling. They'd be scared the to talk around that me. teams that want you, though, would take like you away from Cleveland. Media, yeah. He, <laughs> he gonna be scared. He gonna, yeah. They're going to be scared to talk Maybe you could just do some consulting. Cause some consulting, but I want to ask right. you this real quick. So why is it that? Because when I look at the XFL, right, I'm looking at the NFL as being a top dog over the XFL, right? Okay. So then why is it that the NFL is taking a, a play out of the XFL's uh, exactly? Book? 
You would exactly, think the right? NFL would already be doing it the right way. Why did they switch their scheme to now say we're going to adopt what the XFL is doing exactly. in, on the kickoff return? Exactly, right? What you I, mean, exactly? Why I, are you I saying it like same, that? What? I had the same question. Y'all don't have no insight for this, me? This is supposed to make the game uh, safer, to, right? not no? just safer, but mm-hmm. more entertaining. They liked how it... Let's, only three teams was opposed of it. Mm-hmm. So mostly every team, 29 teams, are, they, they like, agreed yeah, with that. this. Let's do that. Yeah, so... This is the new way of life as it relates to the NFL, All and right. it's the way it is. But I tell you, if I was playing in this NFL, I'd break, o- break some more records. over for y'all. i break some more records. But this ain't over. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, now, welcome back to the show. Now, Josh. Our good friend Darcy, who is a diehard Browns fan. Let me just leave with that because what he's about to say might confuse some of y'all, but let me just clear it out. Go ahead. Darcy is a diehard Browns fan, like all day. Just You that said he, it. Go okay, he with bleeds it. the orange and brown, right? But then he woke up talking a little spicy. Did you see our text message we had this morning? I did not. Okay, I so I, okay, I'm it. glad because I screenshot it and I put it on the show. Now look. I want to get y'all's thoughts on his feelings about Russell Wilson being the QB for Go ahead, you know, read that the thing. Steelers. He said, listening to your podcast. I don't agree with your take on the Steelers. I feel with Russell Wilson, this is 2.0 Seahawks. Great defense, big hitters, great special teams, an elite running back. Good mid-level throwing with Russell. I predict they win the AFC North and we're last. And we're last with Watson as quarterback. Wait a minute, Darcy, you put we're last with Watson at quarterback. What? Dar- oh. I'm gonna call. I gotta call Darcy later. I so, didn't know I read so, that. So then I, I almost said, threw up on my mic. I know. Oh, don't throw up on your mic, John. We ain't got no. Uh, I love you, Darcy. Rights. But uh, so hold on, hold on. Let me say. So I said, ahead. Darcy coming in with the heat this morning. I feel like Coach Tomlin is just what Wilson needs, and I did say that before I was even advocating for him to go over there when he was having trouble out in the Broncos. So then Darcy said, laugh out loud. I agree. And Denver was weak. In other areas, his stats last year were comparable to other pro quarterbacks, Stanford Herbert. So then he sent a TikTok screenshot of Russell Wilson. I can't put it on the show, but he put the stats between Russell Wilson versus Aaron Rodgers. And yeah, they neck and neck. Yeah, so neck um, and neck. there was a lot of disagreement on my comments about uh, uh, Russell Wilson playing um, good with the Steelers. And even even you said, yeah, Tomlin is a coach. If anybody to can get it out Russell of Wilson back to, you know, his coach Seahawks Tomlin. playing days, it'd be him. Yep, I agree. And then I talked about the weather being in the AFC North, mm-hmm. and people hopped in the comments. Ryan, they was like, it rained all the time in Seattle. I was like, yeah, you're right. And he was like, oh, it's it's the worst weather in Seattle. It's so that warm. It's that warm rain though. I was <laughs> simply talking about this, the AFC North is the best conference in football. He's not used to going up against the best of the best all the time at this point in his career. It is it is a different it is going to be a a a a a, a different animal. Mm-hmm. I think the For AFC him. North is a different animal and with a guy trying to find uh the fountain of youth, mm-hmm. I think it's going to be tough to do we'll it in the up. greatest conference. Mm-hmm. In the conference in the greatest conference where youth Becomes them. Yeah. You got Burrow. You got Gunners. And he has to come in and find gold, Ryan. I, I'm just. He got Coach Tomlin. I just feel like this would be like how yeah, you said. I haven't heard of. I would want to read that book of that great comeback story. I get it. How, but mm-hmm. I haven't heard the best rebuttal other than, oh, Tomlin, going to get him. Tomlin, you know, Mike Tom, he's a great coach. But I just haven't heard anything that make me say, you know what? Yeah, he got right. the top, you know. Yeah, I like I'm not going to sit here and say that I don't expect him to be better than Kenny Pickett because that's not very difficult to do. But the to, bar is low, right? But to to sit here and say that Russell Wilson is going to be better than Deshaun Watson if Deshaun Watson's healthy, I, I think that is that. A very, I can't very, Darcy very wise. Darcy, why you say you that? Miss, miss me with that. Why you say that, exactly. Darcy? That, that, now, what do you think he meant by that? Because that confused me. Our team, you know, it was flat out. Russell Wilson with the Steelers, they going all the we way. We said, and we're last with Watson at quarterback. Watson, Darcy. our season is dependent on him. Last year it was, too. We just, Flacco came in, and that's why we dubbed it Flacco Fever. Right. Because he caught fire. We can't expect that again, even though we have uh, great backups. Right. I think we, we're we prepared for it to happen again. And with talented people around him, we could make another run with our backups. However... If Watson plays like he did second half of the of the uh, Ravens game, 
if he if he just shows that, I don't think a team out there gonna beat us. I just if he just be if he's that guy and he stays healthy, I think this is the consensus of the NFL right now. If Watson stays healthy, the Browns are back in the playoffs. I think we're contenders in the AFC. If Watson is healthy, you know what? Yeah. Where is Mary Kay Cabot at? Because is, is there any insight on to should his shoulder be ready to go? Come preseason. I'm gonna reach out to her. She's gonna be on the show next week. How about? Oh, yeah, I know. Okay. You got anybody? It like... I don't think anybody knows yet at this point. Really? I just want to yeah, know. Yeah, I think like... he knows. I, I'm really only worried about Nick. I yeah. seen Nick oh, yeah, Chubb yeah. has already started because the team that we are without Nick. He's already started what? He's 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 just starting to get back into football movement activity. Okay. He's upgraded his level of rehab Coach back up. to Let's football go, baby. football moves. Right. And I think it's a great timeline for him going into this season. Okay. But if we're we're a different team with a healthy Deshaun, mm-hmm. and you know we're a different team with a healthy Nick Chubb. Nick and with Chubb. that, let's take another commercial All right, break. when we return, we'll be right back. All right, now welcome back to the show. Josh, I don't know what's going on, but me and your son, and I know you're going to get us about this, we've been on a McDonald's kick, okay? okay. So this ain't really your yeah. conversation. I'm talking, what? McDeath. Don't, don't. I, I just, just fa- Ryan, just, just, food, just slow mute body. that out, Ryan. I'm a, I'm, I'm McDonald's, feel free to come athlete. over here and advertise at the Big Play family anytime you need to, okay? McDeath. no thanks. Okay. Yeah, no thanks. Oh, my God. I enjoy, I en- I enjoy my health. We athletes know, so, over here. So, look, okay, but the thing about it is, when you get Bacteria on the Bacteria won't even touch that. Why I, would I? I like feeling good about myself. Exactly. I do too. Continue. But, okay, so I'm on a McDonald's kick. Me and your son's on a McDonald's kick. But I've noticed when I go to check out at McDonald's, the prices have increased. Have y'all noticed McDonald's, is, the prices are sky high right now? So it used to be where you'd be like, okay, if I go to Chick-fil-A, I, know, I don't know what it is. Every time I go to Chick-fil-A, my order is like either $23 or $31. So and watch, next time you go, you're going to be like, she was right, right? Huh? So they slowly increasing the prices. I went to McDonald's. I literally got Shame a number 10. And, and by the way, McDonald's. And, and think, bad for your pockets. Shame on you, make a D's. For those that eat McDonald's, <laughs> you know you can have them make your food to order, right? So I got a number 10 made to order, an extra large fry, I think additional small Why coke. I need to know your It was order. almost like 20 something dollars. And I'm like, for McDonald's? Right. Is, is when it, they make, have y'all noticed that? You know what? I, as a kid, I'm not even going to lie. Make a happy meal. McDonald's made everything all right. I broke my ankle. Take me to McDonald's. And then I, even though I was sad. So why are you I getting bougie okay. as you're getting older? Because I, I know better. When you know better, you <laughs> do better. When you know better. better, you do better. I broke my ankle again in high school. Like, Ryan, when the last time Mama, you had McDonald's? take me to McDonald's. I, the only time I'll ever eat McDonald's is if it's breakfast. Right. They do got some bomb. They got some good breakfast. Yeah, and it's just do. convenient because I, I hate cooking convenient. breakfast. Otherwise right. than that. I absolutely not. I'm not putting it on that. And we okay. don't well, about ever the same for McDonald's, but I got to say this. McDonald's will sell Krispy Kreme donuts at all of its U.S. locations. I know you're lying. By the end of Are you serious? Yeah, it just came across the screen. McDonald's you know Krispy Kreme. I wonder Krispy if they're going to have Kreme. it with that red light on because you go to Krispy Kreme and get it fresh and hot when it's the red light on. So now look, speaking of McDonald's prices versus Chick-fil-A prices, does this matter to you all? Now, Chick-fil-A, I guess they prided themselves on always having their chicken served without antibiotics. But now they recently put... Dude, I'm chick- just not hip. Did you know it. that? Nah, I'm just I'm not a, I'm a foodie, so I'm going to give you the food. You know? So look, now they will no longer have chicken that's antibiotic free. Do you cook and stuff with chicken that's antibiotic? It depends like, on I need what, to know. It depends on what's on sale. Now, See, for the most part, I do get the, the antibiotic household. free. I'm need to free have range chickens chicken. growing out there in the yard. And be like, go ahead and get that one right there. He a little plump. <laughs> Boy, you look good, girl. Come come in over here. Let me hey, start the fryer up. Get the fryer going. So look, I love this farm. though. So look, I went on Chick-fil-A's website and it says to maintain <laughs> supply of the high quality chicken Man. you expect from us, Chick-fil-A will shift from no antibiotic ever Dang, they had to no anti Well, no, it's saying they had they they never had antibiotics in their chicken. That's what they're saying. But now after 10 years, they're saying they're going to shift to no antibiotic important to human medicine. So they're basically saying starting sp- this spring, which is now, they will have antibiotics. That sound fishy now, to what, me. <laughs> now that you know, viewers, now that you know that Chick-fil-A is going to now be serving chicken with antibiotics in their in their chicken, would you still, does that make you it not want to go to Chick-fil-A anymore? Does it, sound, it matter to you at all? It sounds fishy to me. It sounds like an article was about to come out. Can I just say Somebody I Somebody's love- about to pull a plug on something that was going on. And they're they jumping against it. And because they jumping I will say this. Front. 
I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll go to Chick Fil A today. Conspiracy theory. But it didn't. They, they, they did not put. They did not put a date on when they're going to start serving the antibiotic chicken. Okay. So I just wanted. I just think it's nice that they let us know as customers so we can make an informed decision. Now, oh. Josh, I know you've been seeing all the commercials. Speaking of food, all the commercials and everything about Ozampic and Moderna. You know what that is? Ozampic. I heard the commercial. You know what example? Ozampic? You know what it is though. Ozampic. Yeah, it's, it's it's what Kelly Clarkson, Oprah, they're all Ozampic. taking. To, it's oh, like wait, a, a quick so way to it, lose weight. Yes. Oh, okay. So what it's, it is? The new Slim Fast. No, 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 no. I don't no, know what happened like to good old no, fashioned listen, hard work. It's but. a diabetic. It's, it's a medicine. It's a medication for diabetics. Are you are but, advertising for them? No, no, no. Listen. But oh, I'm making sure. Well, since we're talking about food, we're talking about food. I figure I'm, I might as well throw this McDonald's in there thing because there's me. been a lot of talk about whether it's right or wrong to use it for weight loss. Now you okay. know, I think everybody in this room, for the most part, we work out, right? Right. So, would you ever resort to taking something like Ozempic or Moderna to lose weight if you struggle with, you know, keeping your maintaining your weight or obesity? I'm gonna answer for myself, mm -hmm. and Ryan can answer for himself. Yep. The only thing I ever take if I had problems, you know, uh, um, I don't think I can say this on air. No, no I, please don't, please don't. If I have, that's the only thing I ever take. If I, if I had a I don't even know what you're alluding to. Okay. No, please don't, don't say it. Don't say it. I think it. Ryan knows. You do? You know, if there was ever a problem, it, it'd only be, that's the only time I would need to take a medication. Okay. That type of medication for, you know. Weight yeah, loss. Ryan know. Okay. No, I don't even want to know. They, it's over yeah. my head. Yeah. But Let I think the whole issue is a lot of people deal with obesity. And Ryan, I think. would you ever do it for, uh, because you didn't let him answer. Ryan, Maria. would you ever take something like Ozempic or Majern or one of those, those diabetic medicines for weight loss? Probably not. I don't. One, I hope I'm never in that position. And then two, I think the long term effects of it, I can't imagine they're not lengthy. And I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, and, and realistically, if it's going to come off with, an, I don't want to say an easy way, mm -hmm. but a less hard way, I think it's just going to come back as easily. Yeah. Because a part of me was like, well, wait a minute, maybe you can just take it until you get to your goal. And then just, you know, start working out or try to maintain or eat healthier. But, I mean, a lot. I think I'm talking about it because a lot of people are bringing it up. A lot of people do struggle with obesity. But I'm worried about at that point when they first released it to the public, people couldn't get their diabetes medication. Because that's mm. just a side effect of the medication is that it causes weight loss. But people mm. out here actually need that medication. And then, like Ryan said, the long-term effects behind it. Right. All right. But, look, I want to talk about another story when we return about Planet Fitness. It's oh. going to be a little touchy. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right, now welcome back to the show. Now, Josh, the other day I was on TikTok and a okay. video popped up of this lady named, I think her name was Patricia Silva. She was out in Alaska and she was in front of a Planet Fitness. And you know those, they pop up right, everywhere. Planet Fitness. They got like 999 yeah, everybody memberships. Know. But she was complaining because her daughter, um, I believe her daughter was in the dressing room or locker room and there was a man in there um, in a skirt. Shaving. Shaving. Right. And so, so I you guess, walk in the locker room and a man in there shaving. I guess a transgender woman. But it just it. I, I seen the pictures. He didn't. They didn't. I know look we got the. Can we put the picture up there? Can we? Yeah, yeah we got the look photo. Transgender though. I mean, he, he had a skirt like he was on, and so. At all. But she did. She did a couple of um. The old wig on or yeah. something. So if a woman so walks in there, the woman can know that you at least trying. That's the thing. So I want to ask. Try. If, My bad. <laughs> I want to ask the viewers. What are your thoughts on that? Um. The, plan, the lady has recently lost her membership at Planet Fitness because right. they said their policy is if you identify as a man or a woman, you can go in whatever bathroom well, you, you feel. But she was worried about her granddaughter, who's a young lady. I get it. Walking around. Because you go to locker rooms, people walking around naked in locker I, I don't. It. I think it's strange. But people, they feel like, you know, we're all the same. So we're all I walking think, in the same, you know. I think he should have tried. I, I don't think that because if you're a transgender, right, mm -hmm. you probably say if you were born a male mm -hmm. and then now you, you identify, identify as, as a woman. woman well, yeah. look, well, try your best to look because that looked like just a man to me. Right. And Especially that picture it probably looked like that to the girl. So I, I thought, you know, I don't think you could just. I I think Use it's tricky too because it, sometimes it gets touchy because how do you know someone's just not coming there saying oh I identify and, as and trying a, to mess around just to go in there and be getting you know be a peeping tom or something like that? I'd be washing my hands like yeah, but she See, lost her membership the and eye. then they said I guess uh, Planet Fitness their um stock has plummeted well like six to ten percent because people are withdrawing their their memberships because touchy, they man. don't like that. I know it's very touchy. I'm I was just asking viewers, what do you think it. about that? That might, yeah. I'm going to just stay away. Go ahead, but you have one more thing to say. I, did, I played football. I, 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 <laughs> what do I know, you know? Yeah. I, I want to stay away. Because, yeah, man. Well, I, I mean. I want, if the same thing, I, I feel if we if we have small children and yeah. you want to uh, keep them from exposing them to certain things, yes, I want 
if you if this person because I remember that happened to our son mm -hmm. in a different aspect. Oh, we was at the hair salon. We had the hair salon. Yeah, and it was transgender, and you know, kids will say the darndest thing. Yeah, he definitely asked him, <laughs> "Was he? Are, are you, you a, boy? a boy?" And I was like, "Let's go. Time like, to get yeah, up out of you there." Know, you know. Yeah, look, we love you guys so much for watching. I want to do a real quick check, make sure everybody in the room is good. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Ryan. Oh, man. We love y'all. See y'all next time. Ryan, come on, man.